Hey guys, I'm back for another video and today we are talking about the long-awaited funeral doom. Alright, so what is funeral doom? Well, in essence, it sits sort of between traditional doom, death metal, and drone. And since we've talked about drone and traditional doom, classic doom, on this channel before, we'll just sort of keep it in between those two. Now I have set up a Funeral Doom rig on the Headrush and as I've mentioned before all of these rigs will be made available over on my Buy Me A Coffee once this series is done as like a, a Doom package and you can download them there for free. Um, yeah. So, for Funeral Doom it is not uncommon to have a bunch of keyboards and synths and pianos and whatnot, but as you can hear in the background I have opted out of using a bunch of keyboards and synths and pianos because I like the um, more guitar centric version that you can hear from bands as Ahab and uh, Funeral and the like. Even though of course um, I'll have to touch on disembowelment very shortly, um, I have just done so in order to not get roasted by the comment section. There are a ton, like, I mean, legit, a, a bazillion Funeral Doom bands, and most of them are just one dude in their basement um, riffing out to a very slow drum pattern uh, produced by Easy Drummer, which is pretty much what I was going for for the backing track of this thing. Not to be cynical, but this is Funeral Doom these days, so, um, yeah, I guess this sums it up quite nicely. So. I have a clean guitar sound, which is really clean, and we're using the ML1 baritone again because it's just a it, it's a baritone guitar, it's my workhorse guitar at the moment, and it is suitably low tuned for this style of music. The lower the better, the slower the better. Low and slow is the name of the game when it comes to funeral doom. Now, I have this sort of this sound that wouldn't be off on a black metal record um, and uh, in the backing track I have this sort of something like that um, as an intro and I think that the more sort of folky acoustic sounding the intro is the better suited it is for this style of funeral doom it is the same as in black metal we're trying to evoke feelings of despair and loneliness and death really and um, yeah that's where where the folky sort of guitar stuff comes in and um, that's just an SL100 in an orange um, amp sim pan hard left right with an air reverb in the back so it's nothing too fancy so you can likely do that with pretty much anything as long as you have a bit of reverb on there for the heavier sections I have uh, the ML baritone in the middle position at the moment for the intro and uh, we'll put it in the bridge position for the the riff section um, there is a overdrive on the head rush that is called anxiety overdrive volume 2 or version 2 this is it it is insane for this sort of style it just does this thing
And yes, I still have the, the reverb on. Um, but we can take it off right quick and it'll sound like this. But I find that for a funeral doom, the more rounded sort of sound is better suited, so I'll, I'm leaving the reverb on. That's my first guitar, and the second guitar is also the ML1, put into middle position, and um, I use a K drive, which is sort of a clon thing that does this. <laughs> Which isn't all that much, really. And um, for the chorus, we're also playing the same riff as the other guitar, just to fatten it up a bit. And also, the riff is suitably melodic as well. Anyways, so yeah, no need to add any more melodic things to it. And it goes like this. Yeah, it's really slow, it's, and I, I lean more towards the sort of epic funeral doom, um, if you will, so more of the broad, almost black metal-y riffs and uh, melodical structures and little elements in it, as opposed to the sort of almost beat down uh, chug riff funeral doom of disembowelment. I'm not the biggest disembowelment fan. Um, I love Funeral and Ahab and all of that stuff, so that's where all of my sort of influences will come from, and you can hear that, I think, in the backing track. Now, if you are following along, what do we want to do rhythm-wise? Well, for rhythm, Funeral Doom is also sort of just one step from drone but the backing track is at 39 beats per minute which is uh, gruelingly slow um, and at times that almost feels too fast for the genre now for a riff in this style let's just play the usual Sabbathy intervals. This is not uncommonly slow. So what we're going for is this wide sort of riff almost post-rock sounding riff. So, our chorus riff in this track is... And so on. So. It is suitably slow, but a little bit more melodical than the other styles of funeral do. Um, for sounds-wise, I think a softer, distorted sound suits it better. So, put a reverb in the back of it, it will sound nicer. If we do this without the reverb, it'll sound like this. And 
you can hear all of the attacks and I don't think that's really the point. The point is not to, to decipher exactly what the guitars is, what the guitars are playing, but to sort of smush it all into one sort of extended riff, uh, into one sort of extended soundscape, almost. So that we can, I don't know, surf on this feeling of heavy despair, basically. Maybe surfing wasn't the right terminology then. Anyways, you get what I mean. So when we're slapping the reverb back on, and maybe you could even get away with putting a delay pedal somewhere. Um, yeah, something like that. I think helps a lot when playing in this style. Um, for clean stuff, you can do a bunch of clean stuff. I think it helps a lot to break up the monotony of this genre. The genre was supposed to be monotonous and to be sort of a wake-up call from all of the um, the 80s stuff, the thrash riffs and all of that, that sort of made its way into the Doom realm by that time, and then bands were just using death metal influences and breakdowns and really, 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 really slow tempos uh, to sort of just set themselves apart and to, to create new stuff. Uh, new sounds and new textures to explore for listeners and also to Funeral Doom to me feels like black metal recorded and then just slowed down by 400% it's really slow I don't know if I can stress this enough you'll not find anything that sounds anything like Anywhere on any Funeral Doom record, there's little to no solos, there's, if there is melody, it's usually really simple melodies like... something like that that you can sort of vibe to but nothing really fancy nothing over the top nothing with too much chord structure and nothing that needs a too clean of a sound um, I think the genre benefits from having a thick muddy guitar sound a lot and uh, so this is just an open E sort of chord. And after about 10 seconds, it's just, it's just noise. And um, everything sort of goes back into this noise wall of sound thing that we talked about in the drone video. And I think it's just, it's fantastic. It's, it has to be this way in order to fully be funeral doom. If you don't agree with me, just leave it in the comments below. This is just my take on what stuff sounds like. So, yeah. As always, take it with a grain of salt, maybe. And uh, if you like th this series and this video in particular, then consider subscribing and telling your friends about it. If you have friends, if you're into Funeral Doom a lot, chances are that's not the case. But yeah. Anyways, see you next week. Bye. Woo!